Home with Lucas. So we're going to be talking about 8 O'Clock's coffee, and in particular, we're going to talk about their original roast K-Cups. Yes, I got my hands on these, and if you follow this channel, you know that I have not reviewed 8 O'Clock coffee since the very beginning of all of this. So this is really, really fun. I'm excited to get back to the, the roots of all of this. And in this review, we're gonna be doing a hands-on with the box. Then we're gonna throw it into the K-Mini and we're gonna brew up a cup. Then we're gonna do a nice sip test and see how well is this coffee? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it is it disgusting? Is it you know something you should avoid like the plague? Or is it something that you're gonna consume every day? So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So up at the top here, you have the genuine K-Cup pods. That is the stamp of goodness right there. That means you're going to be able to trust this box of K-Cups. That means you're gonna get a standard that is well needed for K-Cups because you have no idea what kind of filter is in there and you really just don't know anything. So let's continue down the box. You have the eight o'clock, very clean, very nice looking. Um, this is their original medium roast coffee. I figured that I have never had eight o'clock K-Cups, so I should start at the original point. All right, so this is uh, recyclable. You just peel, empty, and recycle. Let's take a look over here. All right, so these are on this smaller part, a portion of K-Cups. You have 0 0.34 ounces per K-Cup. Typically, you're gonna see 0 0.3 to 0 0.8 um, a big k cup would be um, 0 0.4 something that's usually a larger k cup but this is this is basically standard um, all right so that's the front let's take a look at the side Ooh, that's very cool Ooh, look at that nice i wonder if i'll get that in the thumbnail <laughs> all right so that looks like the same. All right, here we go. So now we have nutrition facts once again. We saw this first on the Starbucks K-Cups. So we have zero calories. And then there's the potassium. Very interesting. So maybe all coffee has potassium. I, 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 need, to, I need to learn up on that for sure. But uh, that's a decent amount of potassium right there. It's only 4% of your daily value. So... You got to drink like a thousand cups to get your potassium, people. All right, 100% Arabica coffee. Cool, cool. 8o'clock.com, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. Take a look over here. You got some more on the recyclable nature of this. That's very cool. Let's check the fresh by date. We are good to go, people. Good to go. Take a look at the bottom. Nothing more. There we go. I was wondering where the story was. Very cool. All right. All right, let's crack this bad boy open and see if the carpet matches the drapes. Uh-oh. <laughs> that did not open right. Fail. All right. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Very simple. And yes, it definitely does. You're not going to mistake this for another coffee. That's very cool. You got the original medium roast on there, so you know what you're getting. Okay, this does not have the second filter in it. So this is very interesting. Some of these have a second plastic ring filter inside, and some do not. So when you're getting a genuine... Uh, K-cup pod they're not <laughs> the standard is not the same so that makes you go I don't know if I trust that stamp of approval on there I don't know if I trust that seal um, so ah, that's very interesting but I don't know if I trust that stamp of approval so but anyways we are going to throw this into the K mini and we are gonna brew up a nice hot cup of coffee and we will enter into the sip test realm so let's go ahead and snap into it all right listen up people let's get into this boom ski boom ski boom ski all right let's get our Keurig K mini ready to go
All right, so I'm trying to stick with about eight fluid ounces of water these days so I get a pretty good optimal taste. As you can see here, there we go, eight fluid ounces. Um, I, wanna, I wanna try to make this more legit, people. I want you guys to trust that when I do a sip test, it's uniform across all K-cups, eight fluid ounces. So that's the goal from here on out. But we're gonna take a closer look at this stream. We want to see a rich, dark color coming out of here. This is a medium roast, so it's not supposed to be extra dark, but that is looking really, really nice right there. That is not a bad looking stream. I, I dealt with the Amazon brand of K-Cups for so long that I, I think I got a skewed perspective on K-Cups. Those things are absolutely terrible and they should only be consumed um, if you are gonna be adding a lot of stuff to it. So it's looking a little bit watery right there, but nonetheless, it's still looking good. I am liking the color tones. Um, I'm liking the stream, that is very nice. All right, we're gonna bust out my handy dandy thermometer. If you don't have one of these, I suggest you buy one. They're super cheap on Amazon and it will make your coffee consumption that much better, especially if you drink black coffee like I do. As you can see there, that is about 160. Yeah, that's gonna scold your tongue. So yeah, boo. So what you want is you want your coffee between 130 and 145. That's gonna give you optimal taste and enjoyment. So that is the goal on this channel is to get the best sip test so that you guys can trust that this coffee tastes the way that I say it tastes. So we're looking for that magic one. I like it about 130, 132. That's my goal. Looks like it's a little bit cooler and yeah, it's probably gonna hit 130. That's good to go. All right, let's get into this, people. So if it looks like my lips are off, that is because I recorded this and the audio failed. Yes, there is a ticking sound. You probably can hear it right now. I have no idea what happened. This has never happened a day in my life. Um, but we are gonna push through. I'm actually gonna be taking a sip right now uh, as I do the voiceover, and that way I can kind of give you an understanding of what the taste is. I felt like I shot this correctly and I didn't want to waste this video. So here we go, We're taking a sip. Ooh, ooh, that is a very, very, very nice taste. Mm. It's, it's a little bit sweet. Um, it's watery, but in a good way. It has that like coffee shop, nope, it has that diner uh, coffee taste, which is actually really enjoyable. Yeah, it's definitely not full bodied. It's definitely quite thin, um, but it's 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 refreshing, if, if that makes any sense. So it's actually really good, um, but it definitely has that like lower quality K-cup uh, taste to it. So when you buy this, you're gonna definitely notice it's not the, the Pete's or the Starbucks or the Don Pablo's of coffee. You're gonna notice it's a little bit less. Um, but yeah, it's, it, but nonetheless, it's definitely enjoyable with pancakes, um, waffles or something, um, you know, some bacon and eggs. Yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna hate yourself for buying this, but you're also not gonna wake up in the morning and go, woohoo, I have an amazing cup of coffee. Save that for the other coffees out there. Use this as a I wanna have a nice meal or I wanna have a nice snack or I wanna have you know a pastry or something, and I just want a normal cup of coffee. Um or your your 80 year old father comes over or grandfather and you're you want to just make sure he's not uh, put off by your fancy cup of coffee so you just throw one of these in there and boom you are good to go yeah I'm gonna give this a solid 
I'm gonna give it a solid four stars because of the balance of it. It is a balanced cup of coffee. It's not too far in any one direction and it has quality to it, even though it's a little bit on the cheaper, um, less uh, interesting side, but nonetheless, four stars, um, definitely an enjoyable cup of coffee. If you can read lips, um, try to uh, try to um, <laughs> crack the code of what I'm saying, and and um, I don't, I'm trying to I'm trying to say something, but I don't know exactly how to say it. Uh, decode my uh, my lips and put them in text down below. All right, there you go. That's the review. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click to clack that like button. And if you want to join the at-home family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I'm still doing this. Yes, I just surpassed 900 subscribers. I am so thankful for each and every one of you guys. Truly amazing. You make my life so much better and I'm on my way to 1K. This is the countdown. We're going from 900 to 1K. Each subscriber is a monumental subscriber and I just can't thank you guys enough. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.